see what's up. So, it's Kia, back at it again with another video. My head look crazy. I literally look like a bobble head right now. We're not gonna talk about it. I just came back from a road trip, was in the car for like 24 straight hours, but we're not gonna talk about that either. What's good? How y'all been? Where you been at? You know, I'm back at it, back at it. I'm stuttering. Back at it with another video, but not just any video, a hair video. Cause of course, you know, and this is on some affordable bundles from Miss Coco. Hey girl, what's up? So I actually got three bundles. Um, a 20, wait, let me look, 24, three 24s. Is that what she is? Yeah. So we did three 24s and then a 20 inch closure. So that's what she looking like. That's what it is. Okay. Color, it's not a jet black. It's like a natural, like a natural brown. I don't know if you can even see that. Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> so that's what she's looking like. So we've got the three bundles, like I said, and then here's the closure. I almost keep saying a front. That's not what she is. So front was pretty, why? Closure, closure, closure. It's pretty long. She's that body wave te texture. Texture? Yeah, texture. Doesn't really smell like anything. It's the same color as the bundles, like that brownish color, not a jet black. When I see jet black bundles, it's a dead giveaway that that's not 100% virgin. Cause, let me, let me spill you some, give you some facts. Spill you some, some, give you some knowledge, if you didn't know. If the hair has been processed, baby, meaning being colored, bleached, any of that, it's not 100% human hair. I mean, it's not 100% virgin hair. I feel like a lot of people know that, but some people don't. If you wash your hair when you first get in, you get like brown stuff coming out of it, you know, stuff like that. Not 100% uh, virgin hair, because that means they put something in it for it to be coming out like that, you know? You feel? Okay. I'm just getting you, getting you in check, getting you in order, so you know next time we order some hair. I'm so... <laughs> Off bat. Closure is a free part closure, but she's not plucked, which is okay because personally, when I have closures, I part her down the middle or to the side. I pluck her and that's where she stays. I do not try to move it around. If I really was getting like, you know, jazzy, I just move the whole wig over, make me a side part. But now once she's in the middle, that's where she stays. That's just what I do. I'm not telling you that's what you need to do, but I'm just saying, that's what I do. Bundles are pretty thick. I still got the net on this one. Bundles are pretty thick, very thick from root to tip. So we don't have, we don't like no skimpy bundles. I like the little tags they got on this though, super cute. I'm about to just quickly make sis into, ooh, this bundle is long. She is long. She's gonna come to my waist. And we'll come back, probably see how she curls. Some, uh, you know, let me, I hate when I do that, I talk. I speak too far in advance and then I end up changing my mind mid video and then now I just look insane. So I'll be back. So I decided to try something different. I am going to curl her with pencils. As you can see, the two that I have in there are a little wonky, but it's okay because I'm going to fix this and she ends up coming out super cute anyway. So what you want to do is I found two ways that works really good. If you start from the bottom up and you rubber band it here and twist it all the way up, it's, it's a pretty good technique to use, but you could also, you know, start from the top and work your way down. It's just kind of personal preference. You might have to fondle with, I hate that word. You might have to fondle with um, the best method because sometimes it comes down like how it just did. Like you got to figure it out, you know, the right position for the rubber band and stuff like that, you know. But once you get the hang of it, it's, you know, it's fairly easy. Um, this is a really good way to curl your hair uh, without heat. This this will actually even work in your natural hair, and I think it'll be fine. And I actually kind of want to try it myself in my real hair. I think it'll be super cute. Just to see, you know, switch it up just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so once I got done wrapping all the pencils, I used about, I think about seven. I just sprayed the hair down just once more. Especially for the outer, you know, the outer hairs, if that makes sense, because they kind of dried up and I wanted them to be just a little bit more fresh I, when I put her under the fan. You know, they, they lay right. So that's what I did. 
and I set it under the dryer for about 15 minutes I want to say um because I wanted to take it out when they weren't fully dry because I didn't want the hair to be super super curly I just kind of wanted a little wave you know a little wave I know this hair is already body wave but I wanted a different type of texture a, a different a different type of wave you feel me okay so this is me just taking them out and as you can see it looks glossy that's because it's still a little damp you know that's what I was going for so I'm like yes sis <laughs> Yes, you did it. Period. Okay. Um, but yeah, take took take those. I took wow, yeah, that's what I meant. I'm taking these out. Make sure you take them out how I'm ta I'm taking them out, or you would make the hair super frizzy. And then, you know, you're kind of gonna ruin the style because if you wet it to not make it frizzy, it's just gonna take the, the curls or the waves out. So just slide the pencil right on out, and you should be fine. The hair came out how I wanted it to. It's super full. It almost looked like, okay, uh, camera, you see how full it is? And to think that we didn't even have to use no heat. So their body wave hair, and when I took the, um, when I took the pencils out, the hair was still kind of damp. So I knew what I was signing up for. If you was to keep them in when they're like dry, dry, it's gonna be tighter curls. But I wanted something like such. So she came out good. That was my first time actually trying that too. The hair took it very well. The hair is still light and flowy. And I'm pretty sure she would take a curl. I'm like 100% sure that if you used um, heat, she would take a curl fantastic. You know, because people be wanting to know, like, does the hair curl? I mean, they, it did this without any heat. So that's what it is, sis. Plucked. I plucked the closure a little bit and I added my little concealer. Look like old Kiamani, high school Kiamani, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. See, I just kind of think I'm cute. Okay, sis, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.